Just like we, we learned email business etiquette, and it's not completely formal, there's a, a personal nature to it, the same goes on social media, but it has its own set of rules. So we see great variation across different kinds of firms, different kinds of groups and individuals within firms, but ultimately it's, it's what you said, you have to be compliant with regulation, you have to be compliant with your brand, but ultimately to be successful, you also have to be very authentic. Um, how do you tap that? I mean, how is, how is it, if there's somebody out here and they're listening and they wanna go back to, and they say to the boss, oh, I saw this, got this great idea for you. How do you tap that authenticity? Well, how would you coach people to do that? It, it just, it, it's each person's personality. And we focus on relationship managers who are usually already very well versed in expressing themselves. Or too well versed. Maybe too well versed. But they do it in person, they do it in email, they do it on the phone. Now they have an opportunity to extend their brand and extend that conversation and personality to social. What, um, what don't businesses know about uh, that social authenticity? So what's a don't? Like, don't do this. Do, be careful not to do this. I think for any new communication medium, the, the initial temptation is to just communicate the way that you did before and not think about what's unique and what the, the etiquette is. On social, you know, corporate speak doesn't work. And so just publishing a press release out there or having something that sounds that includes legalese and is just clearly not from a human being mm -hmm. sounding is it doesn't doesn't work well and i think m many businesses know that now